This demo shows how USAPA uh, used deep learning capabilities in the ArcGIS platform to perform damage assessment of homes after the devastating Woodsley fires. These fires were uh, last year in November and burned over 95,000 acres of land and, and destroyed over 1,500 buildings. So we're going to use ArcGIS Pro in order to detect buildings which were damaged by the fire. And in order to do that, the first thing that uh, deep learning needs is a training data to look at and learn from. So I'm going to click into the first bookmark, which is West Malibu. And this is the first drone imagery that came in um, to the project. And the GIS analyst brought in the drone imagery. And we're going to start labeling buildings. So these are a manual label, label of buildings that we'll export out to the neural network to do training on. So I'm zoomed into the West Malibu area and I'm showing you as I, as I hover over the buildings, the, the buildings that are labeled damaged and undamaged. And we did about 100 training samples um, over the drone imagery. And then we bring up the uh, geospatial analyst tools. And you can type in deep learning. There's a lot of different deep learning tools. The, in order to export these buildings out to training samples, you can use uh, this export training data um, button. And then it will be, the, it'll create image chips that we will use within the Jupyter Notebook which ArcGIS has integrated into their software. To open up the Jupyter Notebook, you can click uh, ArcGIS within the Start menu and click Jupyter Notebook. We've already preloaded the notebook. So this is the Jupyter Notebook that uh, interacts with the ArcGIS Python API. And it's a simple boilerplate code that you can use in order to train models. So we bring in um, the library, we prepare the data that we, we just exported out using this ex export training samples. We indicate which fields contain the data that we're going to train on, which damaged is one and undamaged is two. And then we can actually visually see the image chips that was exported from ArcGIS Pro to the data scientists to use within their model. Their ArcGIS uh, also has a way to visualize the learning rate, which is a parameter that's used when you actually run the training. You also specify the number, number of epochs. So in this case, we did 10. And the amount of accuracy associated um, when it ran those, those epochs. At this point, we've run the training. And now it's done predictions based upon a sample of the data. So we have ground truth versus predictions. Damage was the ground truth, and what it predicted was damaged as well. There was about 99% accuracy after um, running the training multiple times. And then you go through further through the Jupyter Notebook, and you save out this, this model definition file. This is a very important aspect, because this is what you can give to your GIS analyst to do inferencing within ArcGIS Pro. Now, you could go further and run inferencing within this within this Jupyter Notebook, but typically, since the GIS analyst gets the drone imagery first, they want to do it within a Windows GUI environment. So we can go to the next bookmark, which is in Saratoga Hills, and that is the next um, batch of drone imagery that came in from the field. In order to automatically detect damaged buildings on, with this drone imagery, we can use a tool called Detect Objects Using Deep Learning. You can notice that there's a, a, a GPU signal uh, a symbol next to it that says that it can leverage the GPU instead of just doing it CPU based. So you go ahead and click the tool. Your input raster is your new drone imagery, Saratoga Hills. And the next information that you have to provide is the model definition file. And again, that model definition file is the one that you exported out in your Jupyter Notebook. You click Run, and then you'll get a new feature class within your table of contents with the results of the inferencing that happens. Um, we can manually go in and see this area was severely damaged where this is undamaged. 
This, uh, right now we're running this demo on a data science workstation with RTX, RTX 6000. Uh, but we also have a version of this demo which can run on vGPU and it uses T4 for inferencing and V100 for training.